Hey everybody, it's James. How you doing? We are getting back to Breaking Bad, and this is Season 2, Episode 9. Last episode, a couple of things happened. One, Hank was having some PTSD problems, but he got back into it. Jesse's friend, uh, what the heck was his name? What is his name? Yeah, Jesse's, one of his drug dealer friends. Badger is an idiot, called out the cops, said, like, there's your two vans, you're a cop, blah, blah, blah. And then he gives the guy drugs and gets arrested. <laughs> they turned in some other stooge uh, that likes to go to jail. It cost him 80 grand. They met some lawyer named Saul, better call Saul, is what his, like, call is like, better call Saul. And he found Walter at school. He tracked him down. And basically just said, I want to be your guys' lawyer. Jesse and the girlfriend are getting along. He bought a bed. <laughs> but that's about it. What else? Oh, Skyler had to work on a Saturday. Uh, they never talked about her again on that episode. So I'm going to see if, I wonder if they're going to talk more about Hank and his PTSD and Skyler and what's going on with her and work. Because I don't trust her at work with this handsy guy i don't know why but we'll see anyways yeah let's get into it season two episode nine are we back in the hospital again good he's been coughing like crazy he needs to go back in the hospital a little bit you know you you, you guys really don't need to hang around we're gonna be here you kidding me never turned down a chance to hit the bathroom huh? <laughs> this isn't good this is bad That's not a shot we needed to see. <laughs> Sir, you can go back to your changing room and get dressed. How'd we do? Did fine. See anything? I'm just a technician, Mr. White. I don't think they're allowed to say anything. Oh, my. There's a big white blob. That's not good. That's not good at all. Actually, the money laundering aspect is fairly straightforward. The not telling your wife aspect? People want to know why they suddenly got rich. How much time are they giving you? Weeks. Sorry to hear it. Uh, look, let's crunch some numbers. At this time, $16,000. 75 cents on the dollar. Minus my fee, 17%. 17? You just left your family a secondhand Subaru. I have to cook more. A lot more. Yeah. Make hay while the sun is still shining. But how do you get rid of the hay? We should do something this weekend. I'm thinking I should go see mom. Really? Okay, we have, this is the first we're hearing of mom. You're expecting the news from the scan to be bad. Yeah. Stay positive with me here. It doesn't change the need to be prepared. I know, I'm trying to be hopeful, okay? The bright side of life. I need to know mom's going to leave you something if I'm no longer around. I just need to get that straight, that's all. So is Mama's rich? I actually think the news from the scan is going to be good. Perhaps you should prepare for that. <laughs> oh, back with her again. We should do something. Yeah, <laughs> we should. No, something else. We should go somewhere. Have you been to the Troy Jokey Museum? Is it the, uh, the one with the A-bombs? Boy, you need some educating. Come educate me, yeah. Come educate me more. You want to go to all the way to Santa Fe? Yep, we're going. <laughs> A little culture won't kill you. Jesse, pick up. Mm, she doesn't know what he does yet. Clear your social calendar. We have to cook. We're going to need all new glassware. Well, you should be writing this down. Yo, you want to go shopping? Go do it yourself, all right? I'm going to a museum in Santa Fe, now. Georgia O'Keeffe. Painter. Or paintings, or, or just painted. What are you even talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain something to you. We need to cook through to next Tuesday. Four days straight. We have no choice. And why exactly? Oh, uh, because I might be dead. Our methylamine, it's going bad. It's losing its chemical potency. We have to act fast before it goes to waste. I really wish you didn't have to do this. I'll be back before you know it. I can always call if you need me. What, and risk talking to your mother? <laughs> I love the Jeep. That's an old Wagoneer, baby. Built like tanks. He's gonna walk inside, turn around, and walk right out. Two, three, exactly ten seconds. That's awesome. I wonder if that was planned. 
Is there anything in the bag? Oh no, here he comes with the RV. He's like, why did you bring this thing? You brought a meth lab to the airport. <laughs> you said we were in a hurry. I saved us a trip. Uh-huh. Go, drive, go, go. Good morning to you too, man. Oh, where are we going? Back into the uh, middle of nowhere again? Yep. Driving the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yo, check your phone. Yeah, I've got a signal. Drinking water? Is that all we've got? Ten gallons. Get to work. No, that is our workstation. Try to find a place where it won't get lost. Hmm? Considering it's our only set, we are a million miles from nowhere. Oh no, something's running. Wow, that's a lot, whatever they're doing. Oh, and they're running heater too? They're doing crazy stuff. Was that tin foil? Well, Jesse should be really learning how to do this at this point. Oh, Funyuns. 2.35 pounds. That's the last of it. Oh, jeez. How much? 42 pounds. 672,000. Whoa! Each. <gasps> what? Each? Each. Each. Uh -huh. Yes! Wow. Come on! There ah! goes the generator. It's it for the gas. Perfect timing, y'all. Still got 10, 12 gallons of methylamine. Oh, man. Oh, we are way out of schedule, man. So we come back tomorrow. Come on! There's gotta be a Denny's out there someplace. Hot shower, a bed. <laughs> <laughs> Separate rooms. Uh huh. Battery's dead. The battery's dead. When I asked you to put the keys in a safe place, I left them right here in the um, the ignition. Yeah. Uh huh. This is not my fault, all right? The, the buzzer didn't buzz. So the buzz is when you put the keys in. Look, I didn't turn the key or anything. Is this just a genetic thing with you? <laughs> you on your head when you were a baby? Uh -huh. You were the one that made me move the keys in the first place, remember? You could have just put them on the dash. Don't leave the keys in the ignition the entire two days. How are they going to get around this? Can't they just siphon some fuel? Put in the generator? We need to jump the battery somehow. How? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't need very much. Damn it. Put it in the damn hole. It's good. It's good. Do they have a DC on it? Start it up. What's wrong with this thing? Now really pull. Pull this. I am pulling. Oh! oh. He put gas all over it. No, not the water. That was their only water. Huh. Well done, Jesse, as always. Just well done. Jesus. <laughs> he just makes these boneheaded mistakes. They have no water. They have fuel. They burn the generator up a little bit. It should still work, hopefully. Hear me now. Damn it. What is the plan now? Well, nope, the generator's broken. This is ruined. Do you understand? Just ruined. Dumped out the last of our water. That's what I know. There was a fire. Excuse me for thinking on my feet. Oh, is is that what you were, you were thinking? <laughs> ah, now that we have identified the problem. This relationship, I swear, it's so father-son. Just a reminder that I'm offering a seven-day free trial to new Patreons. That is where you can find all my full reactions and this exclusive content. Your wife is not going to notice one little call. Oh. Mr. White, come on. All right, look. Who's he gonna call? Roaming drains the battery. Listen, man, I need you to come pick us up. Oh, you got a pin for directions? Dirt road, it's right before the white sign with a three on it. Way, way out in the boonies. Just gonna keep heading down that dirt road. About another 15 miles. Hurry up, the battery. Bring water. Leave now. He's coming. Well, now what? How cold does it get out there? Just call. Be quick, just be like, yo, where are you? Yo, yo, where are you? Oh, so you saw the white sign? Just cross the river. What yeah. river? What river, yeah. Pete, what the hell river are you talking about, man? There's no river. No, Pete, can you... Phone's dead. Oh, God. It's white. What now? Oh, come on, seriously? They are not prepared at all for this. He can't do something to make electricity. Trickle charge the battery. Oh! Theoretically, it should work. Theoretically. If you have any other ideas, buddy. It has to work. Right. Do they have any other options? That's right. 
Oh, he looks like he's about to pass out. How much longer? I don't know. I would have tried it by now. Al? Mr. White? Is he okay? They're probably dehydrated. I'm good. <laughs> Go do it. I mean, it doesn't spoil, does it? Oh, he caught on. Why much? They gotta be hot, and dehydrated, and tired. Just go do it. Okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh no, it died. Is it dead? Mr. White. Try and start it again. Oh no. Ugh, this is a stressful episode. I deserve this. Oh, no. Snap out of it. I mean, first off, everything you did, you did for your family. I'm walking. You can't walk. Your body is running dangerously low on electrolytes. Sodium, potassium, calcium. Your lungs stop breathing. Marching out there and within an hour. You would be dead. You need to cut out all your loser crybaby crap right now and think of something scientific. Man, you're smart. Or you made poison out of beans. Yo, we got an entire lab. Some rocket fuel. Or you make some kind of robot. A robot? Build a new battery or take some stuff off of the RV and watch. Do you have any money? Yeah, I got a bunch of them. Gather them. Washers and nuts and bolts and galvanize. It has to be galvanized. Okay. And, 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 and bring me brake pads. The front wheels should have discs. Take them off and bring them to me. But how is he going to get the brake pads off with that? You said it yourself. A robot. A battery. <laughs> a robot? How is he building a battery out of brake pads? Good luck getting those off. One cell of the battery. On one side, you have mercuric oxide. Positive terminal. It's zinc. How is this going to work? Will this supply enough current? I've only got material enough for six. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> this is beyond my scientific abilities. My wife would probably understand this somewhat. Cathode. Anode. Damn. That's very good. Okay. Here we go. Start the car. Start the van. Come on, baby. <laughs> they got it started. Just go get water. Oh no, she has to. He has to go there to get picked up. How's the? Uh... It's fine. They need to go drink some Gatorade. Hey, whatever happens, your family will get your share. Good. That's that's what I really do like about Jesse. Thank you. It's very fair. I'll be hearing from you. Now they just have a crap ton of product to go through. How's everyone doing? Oh, well, we're gonna learn about the test. Well, I have your scan results, and you're showing signs of remission. Oh, remission? That's good. Oh my god. Classify someone as in remission if the tumor hasn't grown. The tumor can remain the exact same size and the patient can still be in remission. I like to see, hope to see, at least a 25 to 35% reduction in tumor mass. Cancer has responded to the therapy. Has my cancer responded? Your tumor has shrunk by 80%. 80%? My God, wait, wait, I'm sorry. Isn't 80% a lot? Yeah, 80 percent's a lot. Yeah. Yes, 80 percent is a lot. Wait, I... Sweetheart, you're right, it's very good news. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Now, that cough is the other thing we need to discuss. You have radiation pneumonitis, fairly common. See that scary looking thing there? That's tissue inflammation. I'll prescribe some prednisone. That's all it was? Because the other day, coughing up some blood. It's... You probably have a tear in your esophagus. This is something that we're going to have to deal with before you leave here today. I just... No more secrets, Walt. With something like this, you have to call me. Now, with these results, we're not completely out of the woods. But now, at least, we have some options. The most important of which is time. Time. That's a great option. Well, I'd say that you folks have earned some celebrating. Yes! <laughs> yeah. Good. Time. That is great news. Boy, that changes things for him. If he can get that $600,000, what the heck is he going to do? Just, you know, he should be done. Oh, oh God. 
Oh, why? 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 What was the point of that? Okay. That was episode nine, and it was quite depressing. <laughs> they kept thinking they were going to die. I mean, thank God he's as smart as he is with the science and just, oh. I don't know why he was so pissed that he was not going to die. Like, that I guess that he made choices that he wouldn't have made if he knew there'd be extra time. Maybe he wouldn't go into this field. He wouldn't be doing what he's doing if he knew he had all this extra time. I don't know. Boy, I mean, this is such a nice series. Uh, thank you so much for everybody that suggested it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see what happens in episode 10. I guess we'll see you next week. Thanks.